<laughs> Foster Florence Jenkins. Foster Florence Jenkins was directed by Stephen Fears and the stars Meryl Streep, Hugh Grant, and Jeremy Johns. Wait. The, the Big Bang Theory guy, Simon Helberg, I'm sorry. He's about a woman named Foster Florence Jenkins. It's based off a true story, and she's an opera singer. She, well, a terrible opera singer at that. And she owns a music club. And then she's inspired by this one opera singer, and she wants to come out with a concert of her own while her doing opera. Her husband, who's played by Hugh Grant, who did a magnificent job in this role, I think he blended in the role is trying to help her even though people around her automatically know she's terrible, but she has positive energy around her. And therefore, because she's dying, she had all these diseases. She has cancer, syphilis, you name it. And this is basically takes place in 1944 and it's about the last year of her life before she passed away. And I gotta say that this movie was pretty good. I mean, it, it was a different movie. Not a movie I usually watch, these kind of movies. I'm more of an action-adventure kind of guy, but since I'm a movie viewer, I always like to expand. And this movie was pretty good. I, I liked the performances from Hugh Grant. Meryl Streep did a good job, and I hardly ever follow her work, but I think she killed the role as Foster Florence Jenkins, and I think she kind of blended in into the characters. So therefore, I actually thought she was actual our actual person. Hugh, and I gotta say that the Big Bang Theory guy did a magnificent job. I he was he showed that he he wanted to be there. He he did the best he could. Um, there are some instances where he was little <laughs> and just just a little crazy a little bit. That, that I think he kind of overacted a little bit, but I think he did a good job for the material we had. But I gotta say the performances, the best performances in this whole entire movie, hands down, is Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant is basically a talented, underrated, under the radar actor. And he's, in my opinion, he should be up there. And I think he did a wonderful job of playing his role as St. Clair, the husband of Foster Florence Jenkins. And he did a wonderful job. I mean, he had the charisma, he had the swag, he had the he was a gentleman, he had all that. And I, and I could, I, I know, I was truly invested in, to, in this character. And also, I like how they have uh, the sequences where it had the intense moments. And the, not like, like intense moments as in like gripping music, but I'm saying that they had intense moments and you actually get into the movie a little bit. And I, and I gotta say that I feel sorry for Foster Florence Jenkins, who character, because she's suffering from all these diseases that she has, and then she, the music is keeping her alive. And and I and basically she uses music to like the reason to live, and I think that this movie can really inspire you a little bit. So I have to give this movie a Christian Bale Batman. Um, this movie is pretty good. I a movie I recommend buying on Blu-ray into my classic film collections. And um, so yeah, that's my review for Foster Florence Jenkins. If I will have a review for Pete's Dragon this Saturday. So if you like everything you see and you agree, click that button and join me and the Batman family. I have more reviews on the way. You have been warned. Till then, ciao.